this problem, producing a new and innovative technology. Now, instead of several days, it takes only a few hours from the wax pattern to the final metal part, a revolution in the field of investment casting. The system consists of three units, the rainfall sander, the permanently rotating slurry tanks, and at the heart of the system, the high-speed drying chamber. These units are connected by the PLC-controlled four-axle linear drive. Like conventional investment casting, the cyclone technology also starts the process with the production of the wax model. This can be done by means of standard investment casting wax with a processing temperature of about 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. Several of these wax models are fixed to the so-called trunk to build a wax tree. The usable length of the trunk as well as the maximum diameter of the wax tree is 500 millimeters. However, this fast technology for the shell building process doesn't only work with wax parts. Stereolithography, polystyrol and FDM parts too can easily be used as master models. The linear drive is constructed for a shell weight of up to 30 kilograms and has a quick release link to provide easy and simple clamping of the tree. When the number of layers, the drying times and the size of the part have been entered into the system and the drying chamber is ready for operation, the process can be started. First, the wax tree is immersed in the primary slurry which is very important for the final surface quality of the cast part. The dipping is done twice in order to provide a perfect wetting. After the draining movement, the system then drives the tree into the rainfall sander to apply an even layer of fireproof sand. The major advantage of this new method is that standard waxes can be used, as well as standard slurry and standard sand. All materials which have been used in the conventional investment casting industry can also be applied to this technology without problems. The most innovative section of this machine is the high-speed drying chamber. It's the essential part that reduces the construction time from several days to four to five hours. A special infrared light in connection with very dry air and a special whirlwind, the cyclone as it's known, makes the fast drying time and the production of an extremely solid shell possible. After 30 minutes of high-speed drying, the tree leaves the chamber automatically in order to be dipped for the second layer. The linear drive now dips the tree into the left slurry tank, which contains the more fluid backup slurry for the further layers. The whole process runs automatically and does not require any control. The sand is the same for all layers. After the sanding, the tree is driven back into the drying chamber and the second layer is ready after about half an hour. Depending on the size of the part, six to eight layers are necessary to achieve a wall thickness of about six millimeters. The clearly structured display gives constant information on the actual process status the remaining drying time of the respective layer and the total time required to finish the part. 
Also, the filling level of the two slurry tanks is controlled permanently, as well as the temperature of the dryer and the humidity. At the end of the process, the system returns to its starting position and the finished tree can be removed. Only four hours have passed from starting the system to the end of the shell building process. As soon as the last layer has dried, the tree can be melted out in the oven, which has been preheated to 150 degrees Celsius. This procedure takes around 40 minutes, and it's so remarkable because the expansion of the wax would have cracked a conventionally built shell. Due to a 50% higher strength, the shell produced by the cyclone technology in this process can be finished without any risk of the shell cracking. In order to reach its ultimate strength, it will finally be burned for one hour at a temperature of 850 degrees Celsius. After the shell has been taken out of the oven, and after a short cooling time, the casting can be started. Compared to other procedures, the casting quality is much better. The thin and air permeable shell allows the perfect formation even of filigree geometries. The casting temperature can also be lower and it solidifies faster. Both lead to an excellent metal structure. Due to the high stability and the high temperature resistance, the shell can be used for all kinds of metal. As soon as the cast has solidified and cooled down, the first cracks are visible on the shell. Quite often, the first pieces of the shell fall apart spontaneously. A hammer can then be used to remove the remaining shell. About six hours after Cyclone starts the shell building process, the metal part is ready and can be finished. Rapid prototyping for metal investment casting. From the master model via the silicone mold and the wax pattern to the Cyclone shell. Through to the metal casting and the finished part. The following summary will With this development, which is subject to a patent application, MK and with all kinds of metals, such as aluminium, brass, steel, stainless steel, as well as magnesium and titanium. All parts are cast in an excellent quality. <laughs>